Welcome back dear students and friends. In this video, I am going to discuss Python program to read the name and year of birth of a person and display whether the person is a senior citizen or not. This is a very simple program dear students. Basically this program will demonstrate the use of if else condition. Let us see the program statement first. Write a Python program to read the name and year of birth of a person. Display whether the person is a senior citizen or not. This particular program we can implement in four simple steps. Dear students, in first step we are going to read input details, name and year of birth. And in second step we are going to calculate age. Age can be calculated using the formula current year minus year of birth. In third step, we are going to find whether person is senior citizen or not. It can be found using simple if else block. If age is greater than or equal to 60, we call a person as a senior citizen, else we call him as not senior citizen. And in fourth step, we are going to display the result. So, where we will print the age of a person and later we will print whether the person is senior citizen or not. In these four simple steps, we are going to implement this program. These steps can be represented in a flow diagram like this. As I discussed in previous program, this particular symbol is used for inputting manual data and these two symbols are used for displaying the result. And in place of these two symbols, we can use this parallelogram where if you see this particular flow diagram or flow chart say after start we are going to read name and birth year of a person later we will calculate age based on current year minus birth year once we get the age we will compare age with 60 if the person age is greater than or equal to 60 if it is true means if it is yes then we call a person as a senior citizen if the age is less than 60 means if the age is greater than or equal to 60 is false if this is false then we call a person as not senior citizen so very simple to implement the expected output is the program should ask the user to enter the name of person once the name of person is entered it should ask enter the birth year of a person after entering a birth year it should calculate age and display whether person is senior citizen or not in this case age is 38 considering current year is 2023 and the name of the person is Isha. Isha is not a senior citizen and here one more example where a name of person is Lakshmi Bai and birth year is 1955 in this case age is 68 and Lakshmi Bai is a senior citizen with this let's start coding Dear students, I am going to use Ubuntu operating system and on this operating system, let me use Python idle to edit and execute this program. So let me go to applications. Here I am going to type idle, I-D-L-E. So this is a Python idle. Let me open it. Here to open a file, go to file, click on new file. So this is a new file where I am going to type the program. The program name is, this is a python program, read name and birth year of a person, later display whether person is senior citizen or not. Dear students, before I proceed further, let me show you how we calculate age. For that purpose, first we are going to as the birth year say birth year is equal to so int input enter birth year or year of birth say here if i enter year of birth as say 1991 to calculate age i need a current year and a birth year so if i consider current year as 2023 as current year is 2023 minus birth year now the age is if i print age it is 32 
If I write a program, in a program if I write age is equal to 2023 minus birth year, then this is valid only for this year. In the next year, I need to change this to 2024. So instead of this, there should be a mechanism to read the current year automatically. For that purpose, in Python, we have a one built-in module called a date time. We need to import that particular module to use the functions related to date and time. For that purpose, there is a statement called import. We are going to import that module here. Let me show you that from date time import date. So here there is a module called as a date time. From this module, we are going to import methods related to date. Say so here, if I type date dot, there is a function called today. Now you see we are getting a today date. It is year, this is month and this is date. And if at all I want to print it properly, I use this something like this print date dot today, which is a method. What is method that we'll see in a regular theory classes. So here if you see this is 2023, this is 10, which is month and this is day. And similarly even if at all we want to print only the year, what we can do is we'll write something like this print. This is a date dot today within this I want year. Now if at all you want to print month, print it is a date dot today so dot month so this today is called as a method in a date what is method we'll discuss that in theory and finally date dot today today day is it is 15th october 2023 so this particular method we are going to use in a program that we are going to write now so with this let me proceed further First and foremost, I am going to say right here from date time import date and here say name is equal to so this I have written for what purpose to use current year. This is name is equal to input enter name of the person. Now I am going to read birth year. I will take a variable called birth underscore year. Birth underscore year is equal to I will convert data into integer. So this is input enter birth year of the person. So after reading the birth year we will calculate age. I will take a variable called age. Age is equal to so now the current year is date dot today dot year minus birth underscore year age is equal to date dot today dot year minus birth year so we'll get the age and let me print the age here itself print age of percent s is percent d say here dear students i have used a format specifier percent s and percent d are, are called as format specifier s indicates a string and d indicates a decimal integer so in place of a percent s it will expect a string that can be written as percent of here first is name and the second one is age and here we are going to implement the logic to find the find whether person is senior citizen or not so this can be found using a simple if else statement dear students the first condition is if age is greater than or equal to 60 if age of a person is greater than or equal to 60 then we are going to print percent s is senior citizen and now here percent name in place of percent s we are going to print the value stored in a variable name so else if age is not greater than or equal to 60 nothing but if age, age is less than 60 
then here we are going to print percent s is not a senior citizen and here percent name a very simple dear students initially we have read input details name and birth year later we calculated the age here we have checked the age if age is greater than or equal to 60 we print person as a senior citizen else we print person as not a senior citizen so let me save this press ctrl s and i'll save this in a folder called python programs and give this as a name as program underscore one b and by default it will take a extension dot py let me click on save so here you can see the program name is program underscore one b dot py so here go to run run module enter the name of a person let me enter name of person as isha birth year as 1991 now age of isha is 32 isha is not senior citizen uh, once again i can run this program like here if i go to run and run module say so this time i will enter name of person as lakshmi bai birth year as 1955 now age of lakshmi bai is 68 lakshmi bai is a senior citizen hope this is clear to you dear students so this is a very simple program to demonstrate a use of if and else clause this is called as if clause and this is called as else clause and whenever we are going to write any blocks we should leave a indentation so this is indentation so this particular statement is within a if and this particular statement is within else so to understand say use of if else clause you watch the videos related to conditional statement in the playlist i hope this is clear to you dear students thank you thank you for watching